So one of the things I'd like to get better at is making videos and just being more comfortable on camera. So I've challenged myself to make a new video every day, even if it's really simple. So I'm going to start off with uh, some of my favorite SEO tips for photographers. And the first few videos, I'm going to talk about image optimization. So today we're going to kick that off with how to name your images. And I'm actually going to switch over to the computer so, so that I can show you my process. All right, let's go. All right, so when it comes to uh, optimizing your image titles, in an ideal world, every single image would have a unique file name, and that file name would describe uh, the image in as few words as possible and use keywords that you're targeting for that post or that, that page. Uh, but as photographers, often we are using many images on the same page, and it would just take way too long to go in and name each file separately and come up with a, a unique name for it. So uh, because it's such a small factor, in my opinion, I have decided to use a process that gets some keywords in, but also doesn't take a really long time. And uh, so I use the same file name sequence for each image in a session. So. Uh, for example, I pulled up a few here. This is not something that I would actually blog. I just randomly picked a few images from a wedding that uh, I can go through the process and show you here in Lightroom. So I would take the images that I want to blog and I would select them <clears throat> and then click on export. And then um, I might put them in a subfolder called blog. This is in, in this couple's folder. Um, and for a blog, I'm probably going to uh, size these down to, I'll just say 65. I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll have a video that will talk a little bit more about uh, image sizes, but for right now, I'm just going to pick this. Uh, we'll resize it down to, we'll just do 1500 pixels on the long edge. doesn't really matter about the resolution, but we'll just put 72. Um, I like to sharpen for screen when I'm doing these for the blog and we'll keep the metadata in, intact um, and then we want to this is what we really want to focus on in this video is the file name so I'm gonna use a custom setting and then I'm gonna edit that custom setting and I can actually delete whatever I had there uh, we're gonna put in uh, some custom text so this would be uh, I might say wedding photos at, or I don't even need to say at, Adams Pond. That's the name of the venue where this wedding took place. Uh, and then I'm actually going to put the couple's last name. And then I'm going to put dash sequence of uh, 001. I'll just insert that right here and you can see what that looks like. I'm going to click done. And then whenever I export, it will actually, you can see up here, it's uh, exporting each image with uh, the next number in that sequence, but it uses this uh, phrase for every single image. Now, if you're going to be using hundreds of images, you don't necessarily want to have the exact same text on hundreds of images. If you had another wedding that was at the same venue, you might want to come up with something slightly different for the next one. Um, you know, you really don't want to be keyword stuffing, but at the same time, you do want to let the search engines know what the file contains as uh, simply as possible with the file name. And now, once you've named uh, these files like this, if you did want to go back and really optimize a few, you could easily uh, open your folder open on my other screen here all right and you could rename an individual image uh, maybe you really want to help that particular image rank for a specific keyword um, like maybe the ones that are from the first look you would say uh, wedding photos first look Ellis and you could you know you could change each one 
or you could just change a few. The idea is that you do want to make sure that these names at least tell the search engines what is in the photo um, instead of just having a random sequence with numbers or like IMG underscore, you know, like the cameras name them by default. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, and now you'll know a little bit more about how you should name your images, your files. Uh, so the next video I'm going to make is going to be about alt text and how you should use that for search engine optimization. All right, see you soon.